Okay, this is also a representation of, you know, female reproductive organ. But, so you have the three DNAs going into the female reproductive organ, and you have Dagon the fish god, eye, eye, and mouth. As I reduce it in size, you'll see that it's meant to make a face. See it? Those are different eyes. Just like every image I keep showing you. One eye one way, one eye the other way. Sh one sheep, one devil. One, you know, one sheep, one goat. One seed of the serpent, one seed of the woman. Get it? Seed of the serpent, seed of the woman. And what does it produce? Dead sheep. So the whole world's been created by us as slaves. Mystery Babylon. Now, the mother of all harlots, right? The, the mother goddess worship. America is the physical representation of Babylon. That's why we got the giant statue. Because we're the daughter of Babylon. We're the one. And we're going to be the sacrificial lamb. That's coming. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to guarantee it. I'm going to allow the Lord just to use me just to show you what's coming. Because it's coming and and New York City is, is you know, was, you know, mentioned in Revelation 18. Revelation 1 also. Jeremiah 44, Jeremiah 51, Revelation 17, 3 to 5. Yeah. The mother harlot. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And so anyway, it says that great city is destroyed in one day. Well, let me ask you a question. If you were the devil and you wanted to just harvest some souls, if you created a country like America, and you got everybody to mortgage their souls to get what they wanted, houses, cars, boats, you know, motorcycles, you name it, how many things do we need? How you, right? How much stuff do you got? How much stuff you got and how much stuff you live for probably indicates the level of sin you're in. Because you had to do something, you know, to get it most of the time. Did you lie on a loan application? Did you falsify any documents? Did you cheat on your taxes? Did you do any of that stuff so you could get your stuff? Well, guess what? It was a trap. And now we're mortgaged to the gills. America is owned by offshore banks. Over and done with. They're going to collapse the economy, and it's time to pay the piper now. But this time, it's not just a country falling. This is the devil calling the no on you and on me. And on everybody. So what we got to do is we got to run to the cross and say, man, okay, uh, gar granted, I can't save my flesh. Don't even worry about it. You need to overcome death right now. If you don't overcome death while you're alive, it's over for you. You must overcome death before death actually comes. And the only way to overcome this, watch how simple this is. Jesus Christ died. He went into the hell. He broke the doors open to hell. He ascended back into heaven. And then he sent his Holy Spirit to you. And you overcome death by his, you know, his death. Christ his Christ. substitution. It's done. It's paid for. It's free. You don't have to sign a credit card. Nothing. It's guaranteed. It's free. And the devil doesn't want you to know that. He does not want you to know. The devil doesn't want you to know how easy grace is. Uh, is to, uh, if you go to the Lord with an honest heart, I'm not saying easy grace because I hate easy grace, but if you go to the Lord, the Lord with a broken heart, and you go to Him with a contrite and broken heart, and say, eh, I did it, I did it. Look at the cross. You got one guy reaching out, right? To both sides, Jesus reaching out. To one half that the devil. He's not going to do it. Look at the other half. It was the sheep. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> right? Right? So, so which half reached out? The only half that can. Same problem you got. You got this half that's dying, teardrop coming out. It's dying inside of you. You've got to get that half to reach out to the cross, and it fixes both halves. I'll prove it. Ephesians 2. We're going to pull it up. Okay, watch this. Oh, by the way, this thing, uh, we'll, we'll put this down here. But I want you guys to see Ephesians 2. Watch this. And just tell me, tell me that this does not solve the problem. Here we go. Ephesians 2. Okay, well, let's say, By grace you are saved through faith and not of yourselves. 
You didn't make a bunch of money. You didn't do anything. It is a gift of God. Not of works, like the Catholic Church. Did you know Mother Teresa, in her memoirs, wrote she wasn't even sure there was a God? Did y'all know that? Mm -mm. Y'all didn't know that? Yeah. In her personal memoirs, she said sometimes she doubted the very existence of God. Dude, I see God, you know, hit me in the forehead with a CD. I mean, if you know God, you know God. If you're trying to get made right by works, you can do what Mother Teresa did and never even know it. Don't do it. Watch this. Not of works, lest should any man boast. Boast. Now watch this. Okay. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who were sometimes afar off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Here it is. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity. Stop! I will put enmity between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. Oh, he's destroying that enmity. He will destroy the enmity. Even the law of its commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain, of the two, one new man. So making peace. Try and argue with this one line right here. That he might reconcile both unto God in one body. By the cross, having slain the enemy thereby. Now, look at the cross of Jesus Christ again. If, if, yeah, zoom out on me. Look at the cross of Jesus Christ again. He's reaching out to both sides, destroying Mystery Babylon in you. Get it? Anyway, pretty profound stuff. It's it's once you see it, you should take hold of it. I'm asking you to do this. I'm going to try and get this um, screen going again. It sometimes gives me a little trouble. But so here's the deal. I want you guys to go out and I want you to find your own, your own pagan image of a god. I'm, this is my challenge. Go get a pagan image of a god. And then sit down and start drawing in the changes in shadow. If you ever see anything on the forehead, that'll be the mouth. <laughs> Use the same eyes. Just turn it upside down. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. I want to show you guys a couple other things. Okay, so here I showed y'all both images of this, right? Let me uh, let me show you the Mayan calendar. Let's see, Mayan calendar. Watch how obvious this is. Okay, you know what? I'm going to show it to you this way first. Let's let this little resolution resolution notice uh, disappear. It's, it pops up every now and then. Okay, here we go. Now, here we have, let me get my pointer back. Here we have the guy's eye, 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 nose, and this is his tongue sticking out, right? This is his big wide mouth. And it's supposed to be. These are tears coming out of his eyes. What does that remind you of? The sheep? The sheep, right? Because this is our condition. This is our condition. Remember the Lady Gaga video where she had the head on the back? the image of the face on the back of her head, and then the whole triangle turned upside down, and it's Mother Monster. <coughs> well, well check, check this out. Watch this. I'm going to show you something here. Here's an alien, by the way. Here's the eye, and the eye, nose, and the mouth. It's a gray alien. But watch this. Let's, let's put in the key to the kingdom of heaven, and let's turn it upside down. Watch this. Okay, you just turn it upside down. Bada bean. Let's see what we got. Well, we got the devil. The tears become the horns of the devil. Look. Horns, eye, eye, mouth. And what is the devil? An alien. Da, 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 da. Mystery Babylon solved, guys. So here's the deal. I'm going to just talk to the camera again for a second and I'll wrap this up. And then we're going to go decrypt another higher. Level. And then we're going to show you part one of Kingdom Divided again. And then I'm going to do a really spooky voiceover. <laughs> I'm going to get on. No, so anyway, um, I might put some SpongeBob in it. I saw a really good one where he's with the Flying Dutchman. 
Anyway, I gotta try and keep it live because this is this is some seriously creepy stuff. It is, it really is. But anyway, um so we're gonna we're gonna do another hieroglyph and we're gonna compare a hieroglyph from up from Guatemala or Honduras maybe Honduras. on a on a pyramid, we're gonna compare it to the one I showed you guys of Egypt. Because the Lord told me, Jonathan, the pyramid's your enemy, you know. It's like random, what was that? And so he spent all these years showing it to me. Um, the mother goddess thing, the harlot, um, is America, and we're going to show you what's coming. The destruction of America is coming. Um, if you're not saved right now, um, I'm going to beg you right now, and I'm going to beg you again at the end of this video. I'm going to beg you to get right with God, to go to God. Admit you're a sinner. Admit you lied. Admit you did whatever. If you cheated on your wife, go tell him. Accept the consequences. If you cheated on your husband, go tell him. Accept the consequences. If you've lied, go, go rat yourself out. Rat yourself out. Get clean right now. Whoever it is you've been deceiving, go get honest with them. Just say, you know what? I had a change of heart. I can't do this anymore. I have to tell you. And I'll tell you what, after I got saved, jeez, I had a list. <laughs> it was embarrassing. I was like, well, yeah, I lied about that. And I had to tell people, well, yeah. I, I lied. And so, but check it out. When you go do this, when you do what I'm telling you, that peace that that Jesus will appropriate for you will blow your mind. You, you won't be at war anymore. You won't be a kingdom divided. You won't have the affliction. You'll be done. And then you'll be good to go because we're leaving. Time's coming to where it's time for us to go. Amen. And if you've been turned into a light, a light being again, and if you've received the, the, the Holy Spirit, then you have the Spirit of God in you now. And you've been born again. And we're going to show you some stuff like, you know, from The Matrix and some other movies that you might be able to take hold of and go watch these movies. And they might, you know, help lighten things up for you, you know, shed some light on, on, what, you're, on what you're watching. Okay. This is a story about the human race. A kingdom divided. Jesus said, any kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided cannot stand. What is it about the human race as a species? Our advances in technology are used for the military-industrial complex in order to destroy ourselves. It doesn't make sense. Something's wrong. What would make brother turn against brother? Why would a species destroy itself? How could a species lock their own kind in concentration camps? Do experiments on their own kind? Something's wrong. There's a plan for world depopulation. The New World Order has planned it. Who is this New World Order? Who are they? What is their purpose? How did it start? Where did it come from? We don't know. A lot of these answers are only answered in the Bible. The knowledge of the tree of good and evil. The Bible said, I will put him in the deep between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. Seeds reference DNA different species. DNA carries all our genetic material to reproduce a species, but if DNA is split, what would be the result? Who made the pyramids? Where did they come from? Were these the sons of God mentioned in the Bible? Did they bring the code of death? Did they split our DNA? Did they duplicate our DNA and did they add their own DNA? The Bible tells a story in Genesis 6. It says that they did. It says the fallen angels had sex with human women and created the Nephilim. Who were they? Who is the Nephilim? What is the end result? Is the end result a kingdom that's divided against itself? The book of Daniel tells us another clue. It said the last kingdom, they shall mix themselves with the seed of men. What would be the outward manifestation of this? 
Would there be signs, something we could see with our own eyes right in front of our face? So obvious, hidden in plain sight, that it became invisible right in front of our faces as we walk around in a deep sleep, unable to see it, unable to recognize it. Would this be the recombinant DNA putting back together of another species, one mixed with another? Who are they? Who are we? Where are we going as a species? This video is to answer those questions, and the only answers are in the Bible. Are we the Bene A Elohim? Are we a kingdom divided? Are the wars within us? Bea said, those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret. Think no one will see them or know what they are doing. They turn everything upside down.
birthing a new race. Within the race of humanity. Yeah. That God. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the story. The last time I did the Kingdom Divided series, you saw this, this intro, and I'm going to go ahead and put this one in again so you can dare to compare. Because this one has a dead sheep that's upside down. It's the devil imprinted over a sheep, so you have half sheep, half devil. Over here, you have the devil imprinted on a sheep. Um, I'm going to do this once, and then I'm going to put it back up. Bible says those who try and hide their plans that created Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon is a world that was created by a serpent seed. It's reptilian in nature. I didn't, honestly, guys, it's only the Holy Spirit that showed me this and allowed me to go this far with this because if I didn't, if the Holy Spirit hadn't shown me this stuff, I don't think I could have made it to this, you know, this this point, this stretch. There it is. Here it is again. Here's the serpent right here at the top. And by the way, there's a demon right here, right in the the nose of the serpent, those two eyes, and the frowning mouth is a demonic thing right there in red. These are the eyes of the serpent. There's the fangs. So there's the face of the serpent over the devil. The devil is imprinted on the face of the sheep. It's the female reproductive system giving birth to the new race. There's the birth. It's the male reproductive unit. The ears of the sheep are, are testicle and penis. Testicle, penis. There's the serpent. There's the devil. Here's the sheep. There's the new birth of the new race of beings, which is us. Have I not said ye are gods? That's what Jesus said to the Jews. Now you know how you are gods. Now you know how it's possible. And he also said, But ye shall die like men, and ye shall fall like one of their princes. And because God is going to judge this world, he's going to judge Mystery Babylon. The judgment of Mystery Babylon is coming. Um, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to show you a completely different source of the identical agenda. Now I got something really awesome for you. Watch this. Guys, get ready. This entire hieroglyph right here, the whole thing, the cumulative sum of the hieroglyph is also the female reproductive system. And this may tear my poster up a little bit, but it's worth doing. Okay, I got to do this, guys. Get ready. Now, look what you're looking at. You're looking at another pyramid from a different part of the world. Let's look at the king down here. You see this king right here? This is supposed to be a king wearing a ridiculous headdress. See that headdress? Does that remind you of the movie Apocalypto when they took the guys and they turned them upside down and right before they cut their heart out, they're staring right into the face of the devil because they turned them upside down? And then they cut their hearts out. So the last thing they saw was an image of the devil who they were being sacrificed to. Isn't that just my mind? So here's a Mayan king wearing a big headdress. Wow, wait a minute. So you got him head to head, like head to head to the devil. Isn't that what Lady Gaga did? Isn't that what happened on the Lady Gaga video? Turn mother goddess, mother monster. We're all a bunch of monsters, guys. The creature. We're the creature that was subject, you know, to this vanity of flesh. Let me show you something. Let's go back and do this again. I want to show you this, but get ready because I'm not done yet. I'm on a roll. <laughs> there you go. You got your serpent, which is the ruler over the devil, you know, this, the system. Here's the sheep's ears coming down to the sheep's eyes. Coming down to the sheep's nostrils and mouth. The sheep's nostrils and mouth also become the birth of the new race of beings. See it? Is it? Can you see it, Clay? 
Oh, is, yeah. Is it just totally obvious? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that awesome? Praise God. So, so check this out, though. I'm not done. This is awesome. Check this out. So Mystery Babylon. I'm a, I'm a harbinger, guys. I'm, I'm going to bear witness now to the destruction of... And by the way, this is the prostitute. This is the, this is the whore. This is the whore. This is Mystery Babylon. It all is. All of it. It's the world system created by this. And we're in it, but we're all these centuries and centuries and, you know, thousands of years later. So, you know, what we see when we're born, we're just like, hey, this is normal. Nah, because you're born into it. Just like in the scene from The Matrix. Okay, but ready? Watch this. I want to show you something. Get ready. Okay, is there enough light on this? Yes. Okay, I want you to zoom in on the female reproductive system over here. Yeah, see it starts here on both sides. Here, and it goes down. And, you know, ovaries, goes down cervix, you know, vagina opening, baby being born. Watch this. This in, okay, now zoom out really far on this one, Clay. Check this out. This is all one big face, you know. Here's the eye and the eye and the nose and the top lip and the line between the lip and the bottom lip. And it has a guy trapped in hell right here. Y'all have seen this in the other one. We're going to run this one again real quick, but... It's also the female reproductive system. Oh. Oh. Mystery Babylon, the queen of heaven. The time of her destruction has come. I'm the number one ratter outer of the devil, I think. <laughs> At least it feels that way by all the, you know, torture I get. But anyway, so there it is. Here it is. Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon. How do you see Mystery Babylon? You turn it upside down. Now, we're gonna we're gonna show you guys some videos. I said we're gonna show you guys some. I'm gonna show you how they've taken the most horrifying thing, the most horrifying thing you can even imagine, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna show you how it's in cartoons right in front of your face. It's in Kung Fu Panda. It's in Ice Age. It's in oh, you know, it's in. It's in Finding Nemo. It's in all these movies that your kids watch. It's in, you know, uh, the, what's the Tolkien, you know, uh, what is it called? Lord of the Rings. Lord, yeah, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Just watch, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch the rest of the video. Anyway, praise God, guys. There is a devil imprinted over sheep with the male-female reproductive system creating a new race of beings. How do they create them? You turn it upside down. Keys to the kingdom of heaven. Now you have the keys to the kingdom of heaven. You know what Mystery Babylon is. I'm going to say it one more time. Mystery Babylon is the physical world, the physical world created by an invisible, an invisible spirit working through humans to create a system to make you a slave. And you become enslaved with sin. That's the force that holds you prisoner forever and ever unless you break the power of sin. And guess what? You can't beat that. You can't. But Jesus Christ on that cross beats it all. Tears it down, destroys it, it's over. You win. By the blood of Christ. That's why he said, man, it's not of works. You can't earn it. You can't work your way to heaven. Because this is not a works object. This is your born under condemnation. There's got to be some supernatural way to get you out. And Jesus Christ is that answer. I'm so pumped, guys. I know that this is it. Um, ball out of the park. I mean, there it is. Um, we're going to let you see this one again, but then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you guys uh, I'm going to show you guys the end of the road. <laughs> this is the end of the road, okay? There it is. The destruction of Babylon. Revelation 18, you know, we're going to do Jeremiah and I'm going to read those scriptures and I'm going to show you the destruction of Babylon and I'm going to prove to you once again, the destruction of Babylon is going to be an occultic sacrifice, and we are the daughter of Babylon that's about to be the sacrificial lamb to usher in the new world order. Amen. It's awesome. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, Wake up. Wake up. Wake up sheepies! This is the construct. Wake up! Wake up! 
It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing to equipment, weapons, training simulations, anything we need. Finally. It's nothing! Oh, it's okay, I didn't get it the first time either. <coughs> what? There is no secret ingredient. It's just you. every now and then they just don't admit it wait what some of us have a tough time holding on to branches i mean it's not like we're bats or something we don't have wings to keep us up and then you were in the tree because oh i was looking for my brothers they are always getting into trouble brothers you mean there's more sure there's lots of us where um everywhere under rocks and holes in the ground. Usually we come out at night so birds don't carry us all. Huh? Help! This is the world that you know. in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? that you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Ephesians 6.12 For we do not struggle against flesh and blood, but against the powers and principalities who sit in heavenly places. Um, they weave this wool over our eyes, guys, to hide us from the truth. That's, that's what all the one all-seeing eye is. They've been illuminated. They see the truth. But they are working for the other team. They've sold their souls to the devil, as the cliche goes. It's absolutely true. I know someone personally, a sister in Christ, who contacted me through YouTube. She's learned all the same information as what you're seeing in this DVD, completely separate from anything but just her, the Holy Spirit, and the Bible. We were just talking like, She's me in girl form. And she says that she was tempted by the devil. He said, hey, I've got seven years left. And uh, here's the spread. I can give you all of this if you just sell your soul to me. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. And he, he had to go. Because that's the deal. 
the system has been created um, whoever so that whoever commits sin is is a slave to sin so we have to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves if we were the enemy if we were the sworn enemy of almighty Yahweh God how would we try to get more people into our net we would create a world system that encourages that glorifies that multiplies that fill in the blank sin everything it, it pushes sin we we exonerate if that's the, no that's not the right word uh, exemplify sin as this lifestyle um, to pursue we're pursuing hell we're sprinting down that broad door to hell as as a nation as a world as as a culture um, as a race and we're doomed and the, the, the purpose of this is to show you that the only key out, the only way out, the only truth that exists in all of these lies is Jesus Christ. Um, let me look at my cheat sheet. Hebrews 2, 14-15 that Jesus came to destroy the power of death which is the devil um, and he will free those that are in this slavery. Romans 8.15 that, that we were not given a spirit of bondage so that we could be afraid of all this stuff. But a, a, a spirit of adoption through Abba, through Yahweh, Jehovah, El Elyon, the one and true God. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Give thanks in all things. This is the will of God in Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 5.6-7 Humble yourself. And he will exalt us in due time. Praise God. Psalm 102. We need to set sin apart. And he, Jesus came to set us free. The ones that are doomed to die. He hears the groans of the prisoners. Galatians 5.1. So that we will not be burdened again by the yoke of sin. Romans 6.6. 6, we are all slaves to sin. And Psalm 69.33. Again, he hears the prisoners' cries. He hears our cries. Guys, we are prisoners. We are living under the shadow of Egypt. There's an obelisk everywhere. There's these triangles everywhere. Every major nation has the obelisk and the dome. It's the queen mother and then the male symbol. It's, it's everywhere we look, guys. And um, Jesus Christ is the only way. And that's what we're going to go into now. The whole purpose of everything you've seen up to this point is to show you that it's inescapable and that it's a, it's a network of lies and that the one truth that has survived all of the lies that cannot be blotted out, that cannot be covered up, is Jesus Christ. And we want you to get to know Him if you don't. And if you think you know Him because you've read about Him in the Bible, or you say, you confess that you know Him, do you know Him, or do you just know about Him? Even the demons know about Him. They know who he is. Does that mean that they've surrendered themselves to him and they've humbled and they've gotten on their knees and they've cried out and they've wept and they've mourned and they've lamented because of the sins that they've committed? Because every time you commit one sin, you're smack dab back into the slavery. You're right back in that cell. But the key is there for anyone to grab. And as soon as you accept Jesus Christ, go ahead and try the door and push it and it'll be unlocked. And then go and tell everyone else that's in all the cells adjacent to you. Tell them, hey guys, <laughs> there's a way out. There's a way out. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Jeez.